All right, welcome to the next episode of how to animate using Monchi Puppet Theater Beta 1.0.0. It is a pretty straightforward program, I think. I made it specifically so that I could create simple animations, and now I'm offering it to everybody else for free because I want people to be able to make their dreams come true without worrying about, you know, did I do everything right, or am I, uh, you know, do I have to learn the most complicated software in the world to make simple, goofy animations. Like, this is a 45-second animation that's just supposed to be for funsies, but I have to learn, you know, four years' worth of animation software work just to use something complicated. I made this specifically to sort of bypass all of that. Just click, drag, record, uh, set keyframes, and then render. That's all it's supposed to be. And nowhere is this exemplified more than in the render control panel. I mean, the state control panel. You'll notice on the side, the state control has four main components, and the label at top is set to whatever the current object is, so you can make sure you know, you're not accidentally running the wrong thing. So if you like click it, and you think you double-clicked it, but you didn't, it won't change. Now, the most, one of the most essential elements of modern animation is uh, being able to set keyframes and generate in-betweens. So, in order to do this properly, we're going to go to here, and we're going to go ahead and start setting keyframes. So, keep the keyframe button here, and it'll have an X here if the current frame is a keyframe. They are separated. So, the position keyframe, the scale keyframe, and the rotation keyframe are all separate. The flip X and Y buttons here allow you to flip it back and forth. This is frame by frame, and I have not yet set this to... Uh, be able to generate for all the frames and I am working on adding that as a feature in the next release. Uh, basically I want to be able to add the overwrite panel here to each one of these so that you can pick a position and set it to where every frame has the position you set it to uh, maybe as a base to start working off of. But for right now it's more or less like this and what you can do with these keyframes is you set a keyframe here on frame 0 and the position is at keyframe 0 so we're going to go ahead and scroll and we're also going to set a there we go the scale is at 480 by 480 and you notice if we scroll up to where we want to end at that the scale is not 480 by 480 it's 459 so I'm going to go ahead and scroll up on this to 4 80 with the aspect and that should be the same as when I was over here it is not I believe that is because the Z position is wrong so I'm gonna actually have to fix the Z position uh, slider on here you'll see that it uh, accidentally makes everything too big nah, that looks about right There we go. So we're going to go ahead and set this as a keyframe. Yeah, for the position and scale. And I scroll back here. This is a keyframe for position and scale. And then all you have to do in order to generate the in-betweens is click the button that says generate in-betweens. And before you can even move your mouse to the next button, it's already generated every in-between. That's not supposed to happen. All right, sometimes there's this, I call it the, uh, the phantom frame. It says frame zero, but it's not actually on frame zero. And you have to click ahead twice to get to frame zero, and I'm not sure why that is. So it'll sometimes screw up here, and God only knows why. So, uh. There, why are you doing this? There. That is something we are working on, which should be ready soon, but 
right now. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Perfect. Ish. And since he's moving, why? What, what is this? I have no idea. We're going to go to the stairs. And... Ah, there we go. We're going to go ahead and set the keyframe here for the position. And then we're going to scroll ahead. Ah, there. To this last frame and move it to position here. Keyframe generate in-betweens. And now... As he moves forward, these stairs move back. But these stairs are in the wrong position. Advance one frame, thank you. Generate in betweens. Perfect. Like I said, it's a beta. There are still a large number of bugs I'm trying to work out. But as you fiddle with it, I, what you see on the screen is what is rendered to video. Uh, what's in this box is going to be rendered to 1080p video. That is 100% confirmed. So if you are having trouble fixing one specific spot, if you manually fix it, it will render as you want it to. Go, and now we go to the next one. Click on link images to awe there we are and subsequent and now we're going to go ahead and scale his aspect ratio down but we're also going to set a keyframe here go back one that's a keyframe that's important whenever you suddenly and dramatically change the size if you want it to just pop and suddenly be a different size make sure to set both the next key, next image as a keyframe and the current as a keyframe so that when you rescale it, there we go, eh, there we are, it's at 4793, 250 by 250, scroll up to here, there we are, Two fifty by 250, 47, 93 perfect and now we can go ahead and set that as a keyframe and set that as a keyframe now scroll back to here and make sure that whoops there that is also set as keyframes generate both and now we should be able to just go back it and watch Wednesday, it my dudes. Now, if you're like me, then it's like, okay, that's great, but he's just sort of standing there. Like, is he going to do anything? So we're going to go ahead and pop over to the keyframe again. And I'm going to move him forward a bit and also scale him down a little. There we are. So this way he's moving. And generate the in-betweens again. There, now he's uh, moving a bit. All right, so gonna pop over to this, and now we are going to cr check this new object, sky. Set a keyframe for its position, and then we're gonna scroll all the way to the end here, and set a keyframe for the position. Move it up in the sky. So it's got this cool sort of panning motion going on, and generate in betweens. So now, as we walk out, the moon is rising while we move forward go back to the first frame of this and maybe want to do the same thing for the arch so it's got the sort of panning motion so as it pans we're going to have this start high so position keyframe scroll to the end and eh, position keyframe and we're just gonna move this downwards not much just a bit generate in-betweens and now Booyah. So see that? It is Wednesday, my dudes. And that uh, is basically a completed animation.